Hello and welcome to Digit. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up the Archer C20 AC750 wireless dual band router. To begin, we need to ensure that the device is plugged in and powered. Plug the power adapter into the wall socket and take the power plug and insert it into the power socket at the back. Switch the device on and connect an ethernet cable to your client, which could be either a laptop or a desktop. Alternatively, you can also use the 3 link Tether app to set up the router. Take the ethernet cable, which is coming from your ISP or your modem and insert it into the WAN slot or the internet slot. Take the ethernet cable that's connected to your PC or laptop and insert it into one of these slots, preferably slot number one. Once that's done, open up a browser window on your client, which is the desktop or laptop. Type in tplink wifi.net or 192.168.1.1 and press enter. Since this is the first time that you are setting up this router, you'll be asked to create a password. Once you've done that, click on start and the quick setup wizard should begin. Click on next. Now you need to select the operation for this router. You can either have it act as a wireless router, as an access point, or a range extender for your existing Wi-Fi. We need it to function as a wireless router. Click on next. If you know the connection type of your internet connection, then please do select that from this list. If you do not, then you can always go with auto detect, which will cause the router to figure out the connection for itself. In our case, it is dynamic IP, which is also the most common option as highlighted by the router itself. Certain ISPs might require additional settings. In that case, click on more advanced settings and pick the one that you're supposed to. In our case, click on next. In certain situations with ISPs, you might require to clone the MAC address. The MAC address is simply an address used to identify you, the consumer, by the ISP. If you do have to clone the MAC address, pick yes. If not, go with no. In most situations, you do not need to clone the MAC address. Click on next. This is a dual band router, which means there are two bands functioning, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. You get to select which of these need to function. You can have both of them running at the same time without any issues. Next, you get to pick the wireless network name or the SSID for your wireless 2.4 GHz band. And also, you can set up the password. Please choose strong passwords for both 2.4 GHz band as well as the 5 GHz band. In case you wish to toggle any of the advanced settings, you can pick the channel, the mode, and the channel width. Most of you do not have to touch the setting. Click on next. Follow the same procedures for the 5 GHz band. And now you have the summary screen, which shows you all the settings that you've picked so far. If you're satisfied with what you've done, click on save. The router will now apply all these settings and restart itself once. Your router is now properly configured and you now should have internet access on your Wi-Fi. We hope you found this particular video informative. Thank you for watching.